lot of people in this room are coaching minor hockey. Maybe it's midget, maybe it's below that. Maybe you are a team in the junior ranks, but you've got a really limited staff. What sort of application can they take from analytics, given that you're already doing a ton of video, that you're already traveling a ton, your resources are immensely limited? I mean, certainly your hands are tied. It's, it's very difficult to, to get anything reliable. Um, the one thing I always think about is there seems to be, you know, on Twitter all the time and through my email, I get contacted from people who are trying to get in, who are interested in getting involved in, in the sport and doing analytics. And, I, you know, I don't know how low a level one of these kids would be interested, but like I think so many kids would be interested in interning and just going to a game and ticking, you know, shot attempts or zone entries and exits. And if you could just find an interested party to just get some basic data, data for you at the end of the game, um, you know, I think you could learn a lot about your players, particularly when you put it together over the course of a season or whatever. Major junior teams are starting to do most of them, and I would think probably at the junior A level as well, is that they're getting people that aren't necessarily paid a lot of money, but they're, they have someone on the analytics staff, because I'm seeing it all the time just in people applying to write for us, is that they, there's people on the resume now that they've done analytics for Saskatoon Blades. It looks or, great, right? Build a resume. Right. So, you know, there are people that I think understand this on some level that are very, very young, younger than us, um, that kind of grew up with this being part of how they looked at hockey and that would be willing to help lower level teams than just the NHL kind of try and get a, a beginning basis for the numbers. Even just basic stuff. You got a backup goal who's not going to play. You could track some things. Zone starts wouldn't yeah. be that hard. I think coaches would have an idea, but well, I think I use that guy more defensively than offensively, but to actually flush that out a little further might give you more. Any other applications you can think well, of? I know face-offs have famously always been done by a goalie. We don't call that analytics, but something to that effect could e help you. Exiting the zone with control of the puck, entering the zone with control of the puck, uh, which players dump the puck in more than, than enter the zone with control. Those are some of the basics that I think that, that major junior teams at least are looking at. Yeah, and you know, all that does is lead you to, as a coach, how you need to, to teach these players um, what they need to work on. And like you said, if a guy's dumping the puck all the time, say, I'm not going to bench you if you turn it over at the blue. It's, you know, we're, we're, you, know you, you compared to everyone else, you're dumping it in way too much. Give it a try next game, hang on to it a bit more. And um, yeah, the numbers should lead to some sort of strategic implementation.